keep uh, close tabs on your toddler. There was a lot of people once we enrolled in Tokyo Station, and if you guys don't know, it's one of the busiest stations out there. And so there were tons of people just hustling and bustling, and of course we landed right at uh, rush hour. So, you know, just make sure that you guys keep close eyes on your little ones because they will um, definitely get lost in the mix there. So. Today's a big day. We are headed to Tokyo and we're going to Japan. Um, so if you remember my last video, I shared with you guys a few things and that has really helped us already because I've got both my hands, like I said, I can be talking to you and having my Starbucks. Of course, that was our very first stop when we got through the gates. We got a little here a little bit early, which um, we always do now with Caitlin. You just never know if she has a, um, a poopy situation or, you know, whatever. So we always end up coming earlier than we used to, um, but it's really nice to have both my hands free because everything I have is on my bag, uh, on my back. And so, you know, that has been very helpful getting through. And then um, the other thing is we are over on the S gates, which is kind of where all the big planes are here at SeaTac Airport. Um, so that will be our next stop. But since we have so much time, we're heading over to the Sea gates where there is a play area. Now there's a couple spots in SeaTac where there are um, little play spaces for kids. But the one of the sea terminal is pretty nice because they also have that big window with all the airplanes. So highly recommend get here early wear down your kids with some running and climbing on some play structures. Uh, that way they'll sleep for you on the airplane. So um, we're gonna go do that now and we'll check in a little bit later. You like the, you like the train? We finally made it. We're here in Tokyo and it's been a long day. I've been up for like 24 hours So I'm gonna make this quick and simple for you guys, but um, To give you a little summary of our flight. It was actually a very nice flight. Caitlin um, helped us out a lot She slept a few hours played walked around a bit and not once did she fuss So that was amazing and I think she was a huge fan of those um stickers that I told you about, the Make Face stickers, as well as the Play-Doh. So that entertained her for quite a while. Of course, um, the uh, in-flight entertainment was also very helpful. So that was great. And then um, I didn't think about this until I was actually on the flight. I have this uh, headphone splitter that allowed me and Caitlin to listen to the movie uh, from the same chair on the flight. So that was really nice. So we can both watch at the same time. Um, once we landed the... Narita Airport was a little bit chaotic. There was a lot of people and everything and lines were a bit long to get both our uh, train passes as well as our pocket Wi-Fi, which allows us to get Wi-Fi um, throughout the city. So um, kind of be aware of that. There was definitely some lines and then keep uh, close tabs on your toddler. There was a lot of people once we rolled in Tokyo Station and if you guys don't know it's one of the busiest stations out there and so there's tons of people just hustling and bustling and of course we landed right at uh, rush hour so you know just make sure that you guys keep close eyes on your little ones because they will um, definitely get lost in the mix there so um, so that wraps up our actual flight like I said all the time, you know, I am a firm believer that even after you become a parent that you can continue to have an amazing career and I believe even, even more firmly that you can continue to travel like you used to um, before you had your child as well. So you, we do have to make little modifications and we have to take things a little bit slower, I have to pack a little bit differently, but hey, it's not slowing me down and I think that you guys should definitely make sure you guys take some time away with your family because it's amazing. So tomorrow is day one of our adventures and I'm very excited to share with you guys some of the wonders that Japan has to offer. See you then, good night.